What's up everyone, Willie Apple here, and today Apple has released the 5th beta of macOS Sequoia 15.1 to developers. In this video, I'll be showing you what is new inside the software. We got a couple of exciting new changes inside the software. Let's get started. Alright, so the first one has to do with iPhone mirroring. So we have a brand new feature in here, which is really cool. So let me just go into Spotlight real fast and go to the Files app. And let me just go into this Final Cut camera folder, and you can actually drag and drop a file into the finder for example and you can drag this into any other app as well so if you had final cut pro in here you could drag this file into final cut pro if it was a photo or video or something and the same thing also works on the other way around so i have this screenshot right here i'm just able to drag and drop and there it is right here you can see right here here is mac OS sequoia 15.1 beta 5 i should be able to move it like that and there it is you can see you just drag and drop between devices, and it's very easy and very nice. Now, next change has to do with Apple Intelligence. So we got a couple brand new things in here. So the first one is we have Apple Intelligence built into the Notes app. So there's just a button right here. Clicking on it, you can see it pulls up the menu. And you also see inside this menu, we got some brand new glyph icons in here. The proofread and rewrite look about the same, but friendly, professional, and concise look completely different. Same with summary, key points, lists, and table. So it's really nice that we have this brand new popover inside of a Apple Intelligence right here. And now let's move on to the next feature. Now next change is that we have a brand new splash screen for the Messages app. So this is what it looks like. I took a screenshot of it. It's just showing Apple Intelligence inside of Messages. It just tells us about message summaries and smart replies. Now the next change is also with Apple Intelligence. If you go into Siri right here, we just all have that little bug where sometimes it shows up on the main display and briefly shows up here. But what it will do now is that it gives you more suggestions right here. So you can now do what song is this, what time is sunset. You can basically run shortcuts as well. So what is 9 plus 10? This one will say 21 as a joke right here. So yeah, shortcuts are more integrated into Siri now. So we did get these little popovers, but it seemed like it was only with opening apps right here. So at least Apple has improved this quite a bit. Now our next change has to do with system settings. So going inside of here, you'll see that Apple has actually reordered it again. So it was different in earlier betas inside of macOS 15.1, but I would say that they actually reverted it back and made changes. So the first one is Spotlight. It now takes a place of Siri, and Siri has been added right here. So I'm not sure why Apple has decided to make these changes. I still don't understand why wallpaper is under screensaver. I think these should just be a combined section. But just letting you know that they updated the settings menu once again, unfortunately. And now the next change has to do with the music app. So going in the music app right here, you'll see that we have a brand new icon right here for explicit music. So it's a lot more prominent now. So it's a lot more prom it's a lot more prominent now and looks better. But if you were to go to like a clean song for example, you could see right here the clean songs icon has not been updated. So just keep that in mind. Now our next change has to do with spotlight search. So we got a brand new change inside of here. If you were to type specific settings, for example Bluetooth, some of these options will now have toggles. So you can just turn off Bluetooth by just turning it off inside of here. And I also noticed when I searched up voice, you have a voiceover toggle inside of here. So really nice that we have instant toggles inside of Spotlight like we do on iOS. Now let's take a look at RAM and storage users inside this latest beta of macOS Sequoia. So let's go into system settings right here, go into storage, let it load a bit. Let's scroll down to macOS. You can see macOS here says it's using 42.09 gigabytes. But upon clicking in here, you can see Apple Intelligence is using 4.91 gigabytes. So in reality, macOS is using 37.18 gigabytes, which I think is a small decrease from previous beta. Now let's go to RAM usage and inside of Activity Monitor, we can see that it is using 4.8 gigabytes. So I, so I think it's a slight increase from the previous beta. But yeah, those were all the changes inside this latest beta of macOS Sequoia 15.1. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, share this with your friends. Download my apps in the description down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!